Shalom, Brother Kabbalah, David of the GMS Lesson, GMS Keep Pushing. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only God and Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekak Badash, the honors for our apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, teach us this truth according to the Bible, we will. I know Shalom, not a sincere argument throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity, and I know Shalom. To all you sincere followers, believers of Yahweh, Bashmi Al Bashai, not just here's the world, but do us as well. You men, women, and children, hopefully, lack Shalom. And um, I was, you know, thinking about a lesson to do, so I went into my news articles, my news apps, and I came across this in the People, People magazine. It says, Doctors share horrifying scan of patients' legs filled with parasites after they ate uncooked pork. Says an emergency room physician shared the CT scan of a patient diagnosed with the parasitic infection called cysterosis. Can't pronounce that word. But, um, you know, the Heavenly Father knows what's best for us as a people. The so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians. And um, give us strict guidelines on how to. Uh, live our life down here on the earth and <clears throat> one major thing that's wrong with our people is that thought process of well they can do it why can't I do it not knowing that we are all different okay and the Israelites were held by a standard um, according to Yahweh Bashim was shot see here this is Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 6 let me see I'm going to start here Yeah, I'm going to highlight it real quick. So lock in. Just give me a second. Just want to highlight what I want to read. This is Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 5. It says, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. Right? Talking about the Israelites. Because <clears throat> when you read Leviticus 26 and 46, the Lord um, gave his law, statutes, commandments, which is his word, his wisdom unto the children of Israel. All right, Mount Sinai by the hands of Moses. Deuteronomy 4 and 5 says, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord, Yahweh, my power, commanded me that ye should do so in the land, whether ye go to possess it. So wherever we go, we're supposed to take this wisdom with us. Oh, man, my head is killing me for some reason. Mm, stress, man. Stress, 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 stress. Mm. Yeah, it feels heavy. Slack, yeah, anyways. I'm um, reading on verse 6. During 4 and 6, it says, Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what great, for what nation is there so great who have Yahweh? So nigh, which means close unto them, as the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi, I will shout out power, is in all things that we call upon him for. All right. <clears throat> and what nation is there so great that have statutes and judgment so righteous as all this law which I set before the before you this day? Mm-hmm. And I mean, the whole chapter is good, but I just wanted to hit that point that we are supposed to keep his ways. All right. Now, this is a law. Let's see, here's Leviticus. Leviticus. Uh, 
All right. Let's go highlight. Oops. It's going to highlight down. I think verse 11. This is Leviticus 11 and 1. It says, The Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh spake unto Moses and to Aaron, saying unto them, Speak unto the children of Israel. Now, once again, the children of Israel, by process of elimination, is the so called blacks, Latinos, the Native American Indians, right? Hispanics, West Indian Haitians, okay? According to the seal of your father. It says, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. So, the Lord is giving you a menu. Of what you Israelites can eat. It says, Whatsoever a part of the hoof and is cloven footed and chew of the cud among the beasts that ye shall eat. Nevertheless, these shall ye not eat of them that chew of the cud or of them that divide the hoof as the camel, because he chew of the cud but divide of not the hoof, he is unclean unto you. The coney. Which is a rabbit, I believe. A type of rabbit. Because he chew up the cud, but divides not the hoof. I'm looking at that. Cooney. I don't think that's a rabbit. Oh, a badger. A, a Rocky badger. Cooney. this thing <laughs> all right a little critter all right these are things we're not supposed to be eating but in these times you know jay gonna be eating anything they can get their hands on you know during this famine uh, let's go back all right it says verse 5 the victor's 11 and 5 and the cooney because he chew of, chew of the cud I divide out the hoof, he's unclean to you. And the hair, because he chewed the rabbit, right? The hair, because he chewed the cud, but divided not the hoof, he is unclean unto you. And here we go, verse 7. And the swine, which you look right next to it in the CSB, the pigs, right? It says, in the swine, though he divided the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he chewed not the cud, he is unclean unto you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean unto you. Going back to the article. And this is what, these are, th see, these are things that will happen to the Israelites. Not so much as the heathen, but to the Israelites. Oh man, let's see if I'm reading anything else from here. Okay, I, I want to get with that, uh, that, um, parasite is. All right, it's called Sister, Sisterosis. It's a tapeworm infection that affects the brain, muscle, and other tissues. It is caused by ingesting larval cysts of the pork tape of the pork tapeworm. Look at that. It's disgusting, man. Tania Solum the Pork tapeworm belongs to the Cyphalophiid cystoid family. Tineadad it is found throughout the world and is most common in countries where pork is is eat. America, America is a you know this is a delicacy, and best believe there's a lot of our people walking around with this. Inside of them. Right? I'm wondering why they're all messed up. Constantly getting sick. Not feeling well. It's because of your diet. A related story. Worm eggs found in a man's brain after he complained about migraines. <laughs> 
I was just talking about my head was hurting. Lord got us though. <clears throat> it says sister right cirrhosis is often spread by contact with tapeworm infected by human feces, contaminated food, water, and dirty hands. It can cause lumps and uh, you know I'm not a doctor, I'm just reading the article. It says lumps under the skin if it spreads to the brain or spinal cord. Any affected person may experience headaches and seizures. All right. It says the infection appears on CT scans as white specks, commonly referred to as rice grains. Calcifications, he added, that after five to 12 weeks, the ingested cysts can even evolve into mature adult tapeworms. Wow. The prognosis of the sister sister Rosis is generally good, but unfortunately for some cases are fatal. It is estimated that around 50 million people worldwide are affected each year, resulting in 50,000 deaths. Gahali said treatment options include anti-parasitic therapy, steroids, and anti Elliptic, I can't pronounce these verses, forgive me, but you can see it here on the screen. It says, and surgical removal. Wow. So here it is. It says, so the moral of the story here is do your best to keep clean. Right? What did the Lord say? Levit Leviticus 11 and 7. And the swine, though he divided the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the club, the the uh, cud, he is unclean to you. Let's get unclean. What's it mean to be unclean? Unclean, ethically and, and religiously. Right? Polluted. Defiled. You're defiled. You're unclean. You're polluted. Back in people it says so the moral of the story here is do your best to keep clean always wash your hands and never eat raw or uncooked pork he added and as Israelites we're not supposed to eat it period okay look at that someone you probably laying down next to you know Someone you know around you in your family. Who knows, man? People just walk around with all types of stuff inside of them, man. That's why ultimately we need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? We need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bad. Bad. It's horrifying. Look, man. Look at, look at that. Just for the taste of some pork. And they said it was undercooked, but period. This is unclean to us, man. And this devil knows it and he pushes it out. This is Ezekiel chapter 18, last precept. Oh, man. This is Ezekiel 18. And 20, the soul that sinneth, it shall die. Because that is a sin. Eating pork is a sin. You're transgressing the law. It says, the son shall not bear the iniquity of the father. Neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteous of the righteous shall be upon him. And the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. Verse 21, but if the wicked will turn from all his sin that he committed. And keep all my statutes and do that which is lawful. And right, he shall surely live. He shall not die. Why? Going back to Romans, the sixth chapter. The wages of sin is deletion, is death. And you think someone's going to be living with... How long do you think someone's going to be living with tapeworms, man? All right, we just read how many people are affected by this. Where is it at? Did I pass it? Did I pass it? 50 million people worldwide are affected each year. Let that set in Israel, resulting in 50,000 deaths. But you know what a nigga will say? You know what a spick will say? 
Oh no, it won't happen to me. Look at me, I'm healthy. Idiots, man. Idiots. Ezekiel 18 and 22. All his transgressions that he have committed, they shall not be mentioned. Uh, uh, that's pretty much all I want, man. I, I, you know what? I'll get 27. It says... Uh, 26. Ezekiel 18, 26 says, When a righteous man turneth away from his righteousness and committeth iniquity, he dieth in them. For his iniquity, for his iniquity is the sin upon sin that he hath done, shall he die. And again, when a wicked man turneth away from his wickedness, which we are turning away from our wickedness, we're supposed to be turning away from iniquity, right? Such so as eating pork. He that committeth and doeth that which is lawful and right, right? Let me get some, let me get some bison instead. Let me get some lamb. Let, you know, let me get some goat. Let me get some, some lawful meat. He shall save his soul alive. But he considereth and turneth away from all his transgression that he shall uh, surely live. He shall not die. Yet saith the, the house of Israel. Once again, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, the way of the Lord is not equal. They get to do it. Why can't we do it? Because we were programmed different. We were created different. We are Yasha Allah. He is a prince of the power. We are a prince of God. For the most high, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. It says, O house of Israel, are not my ways equal? Are not your ways unequal? Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, every one according to his ways, saith the Lord Power. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so that iniquity shall not be your ruin. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostle, that was a great millstone. Shalom.